please join me in welcoming to the floor the class of 2022. Good afternoon and please be seated. I am Janet Lenahan and I have the pleasure of serving as interim provost and welcoming you to Hofstra University's spring 2022 celebration of scholarly excellence. Let's give everyone being celebrated today another round of applause. Before I make the introductions, we remind all in attendance to wear a mask while they are inside the building. Graduates, you may remove your masks as you cross the stage. 
I now have the pleasure of making some very special introductions, beginning with the deans of our school. Warren Frasina, Stewart and Nancy Rabinowitz Honors College. Kathleen Gallauk, Hofstra Northwell School of Nursing and Physician Assistant Studies. Mario Murillo, representing the Lawrence School of Communication. Sina Rabani, the Fred DeMattis School of Engineering and Applied Science. Daniel Siebold, Hofstra College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, which includes the School of Education, Calico School of Government, Public Policy and International Affairs, School of Humanities, Fine and Performing Arts, and the School of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. Holly Syrup, School of Health Professions and Human Services, and K.G. Viswanathan, the Frank G. Zarb School of Business. We are also joined here this afternoon by Hofstra's Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer, our Senior Vice Provost for Academic Affairs, and the Vice Presidents, whom I am pleased to introduce as a group. And of course, the person who leaves our university, please welcome to the po podium, President Susan Poser. Good afternoon and congratulations to our graduates. I also want to welcome families, friends, faculty and administration to Hofstra University's celebration of scholarly excellence. This ceremony is our opportunity to recognize and celebrate the achievements of Hofstra's most academically accomplished students. There is so much that goes on at Hofstra and so many opportunities for students. But at its core, our purpose is to offer a college curriculum that challenges our students and provides each one of them with the skills to build a life and a career as an educated member of society and as a leader in whatever field they choose. But all that we can do is offer the best academic programs that we can. It's up to each individual student to seize this opportunity, engage with this education, and take full advantage of it. Each and every one of you, our graduates sitting here today, has done this by having the drive, the intellect, the creativity, the curiosity, and the patience required for delayed gratification that are the hallmarks of successful people. What I know about all of you, even though I unfortunately don't know all of you, is that whatever you're going to do next, whether it is a new job, graduate or professional school, or some other pursuit, you know how to be successful because of the work you did here and the foundation you have laid for your future. One thing about education, no one can ever take it away from you. Now, we at Hofstra can look forward to the happy task of watching you go forth and achieve great things. And we, your alma mater, will take tremendous pride in your successes and hope that you will return often to share your expertise with those coming up. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt once said that happiness lies in the joy of achievement and the thrill of creative effort. I hope that right now, you, our graduates, are feeling that happiness. I certainly am, vicariously, as I tell you that your university is so very proud of you. So again, congratulations to you and your families and friends, and enjoy the afternoon. Thank you. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce Ryan Fallert, our student commencement speaker. Ryan is an Honors College graduate with distinction and a double major in rhetoric and public advocacy and linguistics. He has worked at the Writing Center for six semesters, 
was a research assistant for Dr. Dalton in the Department of Writing Studies and Rhetoric, and separately a research assistant for Dr. Effie Mayo, also in the Department of Writing Studies and Rhetoric. He is the president of the Communication Studies Honor Society and holds an active membership in the National Conference of Peer Tutoring, Tutoring in Writing. Please join me in welcoming our student speaker, Ryan Fallert. Well, hey, folks. How many of you have read Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss? Thank you. Now, how many of you have read Green Eggs and Ham recently? <laughs> For those of you that raised your hand, maybe you're education majors, maybe you're Dr. Seuss stands, maybe you're around young kids or you have young kids, or maybe you're me. Folks, I've been thinking a, a, a lot about Green Eggs and Ham lately. For those of you that don't know in Green Eggs and Ham, this guy Sam I Am walks up to some other guy and tries to convince him to try this meal of Green Eggs and Ham over the course of a day and the protagonist refuses in every instance. Finally, by the end of the book, he's worn down and he gives in and he tries them on the promise that Sam I Am will stop pestering him. Upon trying these green eggs and ham, this meal which looks poisonous on a good day and deadly on a bad day, the protagonist finds that he in fact loves green eggs and ham and thanks him profusely. Why, you might be asking yourself, why is this graduating senior from Hofstra University thinking so much about green eggs and ham? Well, I'll tell you why. Folks, I work in the Writing Center, and students come in fairly frequently with questions about their theses. For a while now, I've been using kids' books to try to explain how to construct a thesis because the moral of these books is frequently so clear. I've used Junie B. Jones, I've used The Giving Tree, but most recently, I've settled on Green Eggs and Ham. So I'll ask these students, what's the point of Green Eggs and Ham? And pretty unanimously, if the student remembers or has read the book, they'll say that kids should try new things. Kids should try new things. I've probably heard that response a hundred times in the last year. Kids should try new things. And only last week did it hit me why I've been using Green Eggs and Ham instead of any other book. Looking back on our college experiences, we've been doing nothing but trying new things. We've been following this advice implicitly. We've moved on from high school and arrived to where we are now only by trying new things. Even as far back as orientation, we were alone among each other as peers for the first time, and we had to try new things, make new friends, learn about this space we would be in for the next four years. We spent the rest of our time here since our first moments as, a, as part of the Hofstra Pride learning about each other, learning with each other, and enjoying each other's company. We've spent our time at Hafusa, at Dutch, under the heated tents, crowded around the fire pits, playing some frisbee, and trying our best to play some wiffle ball. We've put ourselves out there, and sure, there's been heartbreak and hurt and fear, but green eggs and ham don't exactly look appealing. Once we've taken that first step, that first leap into the unknown, we've found success. We've found triumph and excellence. By trying new things, we've moved through the world together. We've tried new experiences as well. We've visited New York City and branched away from the comfort of the giant screens in Times Square and gone to the back alleys with hidden Michelin star caliber restaurants, to the beauties of K-Town and Chinatown, the majesty of Carnegie Hall and the bright lights of Broadway, the beautiful parks and the beauty of the sport of baseball. And we've seen beyond. I've taken trips to Washington DC and California and Vermont, been skiing and eating and journeying and enjoying friends' company and also eating. We've spread our wings, and the whole time we've been trying new things. Even in academics, we've been chowing down on some green eggs and ham, folks. I've found a home in the Department of Writing Studies and Rhetoric, and I've worked with faculty there who I consider my friends as a research assistant. I've worked with uh, the Writing Center and my wonderful colleagues there, and through that work I've presented at academic conferences when I could have been rejected at every step of the way. But because I pushed forward, I found delight and joy and purpose. I've learned about my field, and I've learned about friends' fields. Thanks to friends in the PA program, I know way more about the human body than I ever expected. <laughs> I've learned about my professor's specialties, and I was elected president of Hofstra's Rhetoric Honor Society, and I published some of my research despite the challenges and fears and successes and triumphs. And looking back, I have to tell you folks, a lot of this stuff didn't look too appetizing, especially considering the circumstances of our undergraduate experience. The COVID-19 pandemic was and is bad. 
I completed my undergraduate thesis looking at how the pandemic affected the self-perceptions of Writing Center tutors, and perhaps unsurprisingly, the interviewed students felt isolated during COVID. They felt less motivation, they felt burnout, and some of them lost friendships after friends graduated, and they're unlikely to see those people ever again. And those were simply the similarities between them. Me, myself, I'm lucky that very few of my loved ones have had COVID, but the period was still fraught with stress. A benign tumor was found on my thyroid in the summer after COVID began, and for a period of about six months, my life was all tests, and then surgery, and then recovery. And somehow, folks, I had a tumor, and I was lucky compared to the many friends, family, and loved ones we've lost to this pandemic. Also incredibly impactful was the effect of Black Lives Matter and the peaceful protests they organized and inspired. We saw a sweeping movement which pushed for effective change and which captured our actions and minds. But we also saw how people not participating in the moment reacted. We saw the media paint protesters as rioters and belittle the efforts of groups like Black Lives Matter, and seeing their potential also deeply affected us. This depiction of human beings as protesting for their rights as somehow dangerous was dangerous itself. But as we graduate and move forward onto greener pastures, I have hope that we will be able to use what we've learned at Hofstra and what we've seen to keep moving forward to a more equal and more equitable world. And now we watch as the war in Ukraine continues. Putin has made grabs for Ukraine more than once in our lives, and seeing these attacks continue into our 20s is a reality I hoped not to live in. I'm somewhat heartened by Ukraine's effective response but, as they fight their just war, but the war continues when it should not have to. Some of us have loved ones in Russia or Ukraine or are simply horrified onlookers. And somehow the world keeps spinning. Rejection and self-doubt and past pain and future pain and all of that have acted like a wall in our way. But guess what? I've moved forward. You've moved forward. We still moved forward together as a community of peers, a community of scholars, and as a community of excellence. I think back to sitting on the floor of my New Jersey elementary school while my teacher, Mrs. Gibbs, was reading us green eggs and ham. We sat there, wrapped by the colorful pictures, the funny characters, and the rhyme scheme, and then our teacher asked us what the point of the book was. Folks, I still feel like a kid who has to be reminded to try new things, to put myself out there and to take a risk, and now we stand on the precipice of our future once again. We're looking out ahead of us at our branching futures. Some of us are going off to grad school, some of us to medical school, some of us to law school, and some of us into the job market. All of us looking ahead to our next chapter. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. Folks, I'm downright scared sometimes, but if we take a second to look back and see the victories we've won, the successes we've had, the challenges we've overcome, and the excellence we've shown, we should be ready to try one more thing and take a step forward. Forward to your future, to our future. Congratulations. Thank you, Ryan, for that excellent speech. Now it is my privilege to make special presentations to the outstanding Senior Scholar Award recipients. They are scholars who are graduating with the highest grade point average. Will the following students from the class of 22 please come forward to be recognized when your name is called? Michael Anthony Martin for Studies in Accounting. Pavit Suri for Studies in Biology. <laughs> Kaylee Alexis Ten for Studies in Music. and Maggie Tai for Physician Assistant Studies.
Congratulations to our senior scholars. The Joan and Donald E. Axon Library Undergraduate Library Research Award was established in 1997 by the library faculty to recognize and reward excellence in research and writing by a graduating senior. All papers for these awards are nominated by the faculty for whom the paper was written and then read carefully by a faculty selection committee. Each award includes a monetary prize of $500 and publication of the paper on the library's website. This year's winners are Jessica Hansen, Sam Gong, and Caitlin O'Brien. <laughs> Will they join us on the stage to be recognized? Jessica Hansen's paper is titled Existentialism in Literature, Why, Eg Why Existentialist and Absurdist Themes Are Best Portrayed Through Works of Fiction. Jessica's paper is an honors thesis in the Department of Philosophy written for Bartholomew Slaninka and Mark McAvoy. Sam Gong's research manuscript is titled Elemental Profiling of Gunshot Residue Using X-ray Fluorescence Spectroscopy. Oh boy. <laughs> Sam's paper is primary research in forensic science in the Department of Chemistry written for Ling Huang. Caitlin O'Brien's paper is titled, Votes for Service, The Limits of Military and Foreign Policy Credentials in Post-9-11 United States Presidential Elections. Caitlin's paper is an honors thesis in the Department of Political Science, written for Mina Bowes. On behalf of the library faculty and award committee, I congratulate Jessica, Sam, and Caitlin for their achievements. Each year, Hofstra University selects recipients from our outstanding faculty to receive the Lawrence A. Stesson Prize for Outstanding Scholarly Publication. The prize was established in the 1984-85 academic year to reward scholarly efforts of Hofstra's outstanding junior faculty. This year recipients of the Stesson Award for Outstanding Scholarly Publication are Daphne Motro, Assistant Professor of Management and Entrepreneurship in the Frank G. Zarb School of Business, for her article, Incivility and Creativity in Teams, Examining the Role of Perpetrator Gender, that was published in the Journal of Applied Psychology. Jian Chen Shan, Assistant Professor of Computer Science in the Fred DeMatta School of Engineering and Applied Science, is our other Stetson Award winner for his article, Virtualization Ahead of Multi-Threading in X86 State-of-the-Art and Remaining Challenges. 
that was published in IEEE Transactions on Parallel and Distributed Systems. Congratulations, Dr. Shan. We have one more important award, and I ask our Vice Provost for Graduate and Undergraduate Studies, Alfreda Blue, to come forward to present our Mentor of the Year Award. For the 11th year, Hofstra University is presenting the award for Mentor of the Year to a faculty member who has supervised advanced undergraduate research. This year's recipient is Dr. Andrea Effie-Miu, Associate Professor of Writing Studies and Director of the Hofstra University Writing Center. I invite her to come forward to receive her award and congratulations from President Poser and President Provost Linnigan. This award reaffirms Hofstra's recognition of advanced undergraduate research and dedicated faculty supervision as part of its commitment to teaching excellence. Dr. Efti Mu exemplifies the dedication to undergraduate research, and we congratulate her. President Poser, administrators, faculty, graduates, and guests, Hofstra University is proud of its students graduating with honors. We take this time to recognize these students who have distinguished themselves among their undergraduate careers here at Hofstra by going above and beyond their coursework requirements. These recipients of departmental honors, Latin honors, and other distinctions of special achievement exemplify the transformation from students who engage with knowledge to young scholars who seek and create new knowledge. Departmental honors or high honor students have performed substantial individual research in the field of their major under close faculty supervision on a topic of their special interest and, had, and have defended their research thesis before a departmental committee. Latin honors are conferred upon students who have achieved the following grade point averages. Summa cum laude, 3.86, magna cum laude, 3.75, and cum laude, 3.60. Will the students receiving departmental honors, Latin honors, and other distinctions of special achievement come forward to be recognized? While the faculty and administration are very proud of our graduates, in order to maintain safety, we ask that all attendees refrain from touching, including the customary handshake and hugging. Your names will be read by Dr. Alfreda Blue, Vice Provost for Graduate and Undergraduate Studies, and Dr. Komala Shahani Denning, Interim Senior Vice Provost. Caitlin O'Brien, summa cum laude, Phi Beta Kappa, and Presidential Fellow for the Center for Study of the Presidency and Congress, employer NBC10, WJR television station in Providence, Rhode Island. <laughs> Sam Gong, summa cum laude, President of Crime Scene Investigation, Provost Assistantship Scholar at the University of New Haven for Forensic Science, Graduate School MS, University of New Haven, Department of Forensic Science. Jessica Hansen, summa cum laude, Phi Beta Kappa, Phi Sigma Tau, Sigma Tau Delta. <laughs> Kaylee Ten, summa cum laude, 
president of Hoster Concerts, project manager for Unispan Records. Maggie Xiao, summa cum laude. Pavik Suri, summa cum laude. Bill and Melinda Gates Scholar, Phi Beta Kappa, Phi Sigma Tau, Tri Beta, Phi Eta Sigma, Sigma D. Graduate School, Zucker Medical School. Ryan Fallert, summa cum laude. Employer, Maslaski and Partners. Michael Martin, summa cum laude. Summa cum laude and provost list. Beta Alpha Psi, Zarb School of Business Scholar, and he will be planning to go on to study MS in taxation at Hofstra University. <laughs> Michael Taylor, summa cum laude. Beta Gamma Sigma Business Honor Society, Delta Alpha Pi Honor Society. <laughs> Caitlin Tenoro Grasande, cum laude. Valerie Bouchard, cum laude, Eta Sigma Gamma and Phi Eta Sigma Honor Society. <laughs> Michelle Martin, summa cum laude. <laughs> Employer Deloitte. Roisin Crosby, cum laude. <laughs> Academic Excellence in Neuroscience, ST Bragg Scholarship recipient. Brittany Guedes, cum laude. Lauren Sager, cum laude. Adelia Saravia, cum laude. Maximo Ramos, cum laude. Shadi Soleimani, cum laude. Shane Shakishan, cum laude. Domenico Penza, magna cum laude, Phi Beta Kappa member, Pi Sigma Alpha member, and graduate school, Lawrence Maurice Dean School of Law at Hofstra University. <laughs> Kyle Russo, cum laude. Michael Solicito, cum laude. Connor Verstraten, magna cum laude. Law School Graduate School. Sarah Geiger, summa cum laude, Beta Gamma Sigma Arna Society Business Scholars Program, and her employer is Parker Hannafin Aerospace. <laughs> Simron Mystery, cum laude. Her employer will be Bright Power. <laughs> Melissa Levichesta, magna cum laude. Arthur Pimenta, cum laude, Dean's Business Scholar. Isabel Floria, summa cum laude, employer Northwell Health. Jason Lima, magna cum laude, Sigma Pi Sigma Physics Honor Society, Harold Clareman Award, and his graduate school will be MS in Medical Physics at Hofstra. Alyssa Felding, cum laude, Phi Beta Kappa, accepted into Hopkins University for graduate school, MA degree in government. <laughs> Victoria Natali, summa cum laude, Eta Sigma Gamma National Health Education Honor Society, graduate school at Stony Brook University, MS in occupational therapy. Her employer is Hand in Hand Rehabilitation. Evelyn Moran, summa cum laude, member of the National Honor Society for Dance Arts. Her employer will be AKT Manhasset. <laughs> Gabrielle Corzo, Gab Gabriel Corzo, cum laude, sorry about that. Beta, 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 honor society. <laughs> Emily O'Brien, cum laude.
Irene Anastasi, magna cum laude, she had dual degree in forensic science and psychology, honors college associate, Phi Eta Sigma Honor Society, Psy Chi Honor Society. <laughs> Kamala Lawson, magna cum laude, and graduate school is Hofstra University's computer science and mathematics. <laughs> Sahir Chowdhury, cum laude, Tri Beta, Psy Chi, Hofstra Honors College Research Scholar Recipient, and is going to the Feinstein Institute Medical Research. <laughs> Rocco Di Stefano, summa cum laude, um, Phi Beta Kappa, and awarded the Bernie, Bernard Firestone Research Grant in 2020. <laughs> Chelsea DeBarros, cum laude, Alpha Kappa Delta International Honor Society, and her employer's Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. <laughs> Abigail Basu, cum laude, um, graduate school, um, well, pediatrics associates of Plainview is her employer. <laughs> Cassandra Jilson, summa cum laude, culinary club secretary, and employer's Girl Scouts of the Green and White Mountains. Bianca Converi, cum laude, Honors College graduate with distinction, president of the Bowling Club. <laughs> Russell Burgard, cum laude, employer Curtis Wright. <laughs> Daniel Arguedas, cum laude. <laughs> Fatima Ali, magna cum laude, Honors College associate. Amdulat Ajasa, Summer Cum Laude, Hofstra Senior of the Year, Lawrence Herbert School of Communication Senior of the Year, President of the Black Student Union, Employer, New York Times. Woo! Lauren Wood, Cum Laude, co founder of Black Leaders Advocating for Change, Woo! Vice President of the Black Student Union, SRA of Brilliance, and the first BIPOC designated floor and employers the Vannevar Caravan. <laughs> Iman El Shasi, Sama Cum Laude, um, Center for Civic Engagement Fellow, um, intern at the Washington Center, and her graduate school is Hofstra Law. <laughs> Athena Dawson, Cum Laude, NAACP Public Relations Chair, Black Leaders Advocating for Change founding member, the Black Student Union uh, co-secretary, and is going on to get her master's in journalism here at Hofstra. <laughs> Ernesto Bertoli Escalona, cum laude. <laughs> Zakaria Ramsarup, um, LEAP program, early graduate. George Lynn Jean-Pierre, Phi Beta Kappa, Phi Alpha Delta, Sigma Tau Delta, International English Honor Society, and going on to graduate school at Indiana University for Law. <laughs> Tanya Melnick, cum laude, Vice President of Kappa Delta Phi, and going on to Hofstra's graduate program in special ed. Melissa Valenti, magna cum laude, president of Kappa Delta Pi, treasurer of Alpha Phi Omega, Phi Eta Sigma, um, is going on to Hofstra's Masters in Special Ed. <laughs> Christiana Sanico, cum laude, future um, educator at Hofstra member, College of, uh, going on to graduate school at Hofstra University College of Education and works at Dryden Street School. Jessica Hillel, Summa Cum Laude, Kappa Delta Phi, Phi Eta Sigma, Order of Omega, Vice President of Recruitment for Alpha Epsilon Psi. She's going on for a master's degree in special ed at Hofstra University. <laughs> Cassidy Fowler, Cum Laude, Phi Eta Sigma, Forensic Linguistics Internship. Gabrielle Gentile, Summa Cum Laude, 
Kappa Delta Phi International Honor Society in Education, Phi Eta Sigma Honor Society, Order of Omega Honor Society, and going on for her master's degree at Hofstra. <laughs> Alexa Weissman, magna cum laude, uh, former president of Alpha Epsilon Phi, Kappa Delta Phi Honor Society, Order of Omega Honor Society, and going on for her master's at Hofstra in elementary education. <laughs> Rebecca Wild, cum laude, Phi, Pi Delta Phi, the National French Honor Society. Jonathan Rong, cum laude, uh, Provost Scholar Dean's List, 180 Degrees Consulting Treasurer, and going on to work at Aon. Nathaniel Friedrich, cum laude, Mu Kappa Honor Society. <laughs> Isabella Burkhard, summa cum laude, Honors with Distinction. Hannah McGuire, cum laude, business scholar, graduate school and MBA in marketing at Hofstra University. Her employer is Hofstra University. <laughs> Caitlin Jackal, summa cum laude, Phi Beta Kappa, Phi Alpha Delta, Society of Honors, and she will be getting a master's degree in art at the John Jay College of Criminal Justice. Mary Claire Toth, magna cum laude, Alpha Psi Sigma Honor Society, Phi Sigma Eta Honor Society. <laughs> Alexandra Attili, summa cum laude, Phi Beta Kappa, Pi Sigma Alpha, Sigma Delta Pi. She's going to graduate school at the University of New Hampshire Franklin Pierce Law School. <laughs> Deborah Apramonti, summa cum laude, Sigma Tau Delta, Phi Sigma Tau, Graduate School, Florida State University School of Law. Aaron Demek, magma cum laude, IWLCA Honors, presented her research at the Fall 2021 American Chemical Society meeting. She is go going to graduate school at Johns Hopkins, PhD in Chemical Biology. Grace Gangella, magma cum laude, IWLCA academic honor roll, and she, her employer is Golden Solutions. <laughs> Angela Greco, magma cum laude, honors with distinction in philosophy. She, the graduate school is Florida International University, JD. <laughs> Amanda Guerra, magma cum laude, Kappa Delta Pi, Pi Eta Sigma, and Graduate School, Hofstra University, TESOL, SPED, Master's Program. <laughs> Krista Agostinello, cum laude, Graduate School, Hofstra University, MBA in Marketing. <laughs> Lily Stavisky, summa cum laude. Samantha Diamond, summa cum laude. Graduate School, MS in Marketing. Casey Collins, magma cum laude. Graduate School, Hofstra, Masters in Accounting. Madison McKevitt, summa cum laude. Angelina Iapolo, cum laude. Co-SIDA Academic All District Team Scholar, Graduate School Hofstra, Masters in Health Administration. <laughs> Gianna Massey, summa cum laude, Graduate School Hofstra University Physician Assistant Studies Program. <laughs> Daya Schroff, summa cum laude. Graduate School MS in Physician Assistant Studies at Hofstra University. <laughs> Katherine Pfeiffer, magma cum laude. Sigma Tau Delta Psy Chi Chi Psychology Honor Society, Graduate School at Naropa University with MA in Mental Health Counseling. <laughs> Gabrielle Schroeder, cum laude. Sigma Pi, Speech, Language, Arts, Science, 
um, Honor Society, Graduate School MA in Hostra, Speech Language Arts Hearing Program. <laughs> Alexa Paterzo, cum laude. Firestone Fellowship recipient and graduate school at the Morris Dean School of Law at Hofstra University. <laughs> Gabriello Polito, magna cum laude. Phi Beta Kappa, Order of Omega, graduate school, Hofstra speech language pathology program. Employer, who, look who's talking. <laughs> Maria Sullivan, cum laude. Gabriel Cordero, cum laude. Graduate school. He's going to a Spanish school. <laughs> Swiss French. Halt a call of musique, Geneva. Alisa Mingo, summer come, come loud. Orchestra manager and librarian for the Hofstra Orchestra, president of the Hofstra chapter of the American String Teachers, executive board member of Alpha Phi Omega, and she's going to graduate school at Columbia University for her master's in music and music education. <laughs> Nicholas Spenley, magna cum laude, English Honor Society and Writing Center Tudor. <laughs> Christopher Gar Garagoslo, Come loud. His employer is Plannerfield. <laughs> Jonathan Meyer, come loud. Cup Sport Leader of the Year in 2022, Phi Sigma Tau. He's going to Madison, University of Madison in Wisconsin Law School. <laughs> Melissa Bronstein, summer come loud. Um, she, she received the Academic Excellence Award from the Religion Department and multiple honorary citations from the Nassau County government, and she is going to graduate school uh, for law. <laughs> Haley Kugler, magna cum laude, Delta Alpha Phi, Phi Sigma Tau, Honors College graduate. She's gonna go on for a master's, and her employer is the Edison Research Institute. <laughs> Al Aliyah Irvin, magna cum laude, Phi Eta Sigma Honor Society, um, going to graduate school at the University of Florida, and her employer is Smart Asset Tech. <laughs> Ralph Barone, Jr., cum laude. <laughs> Priya Kola, cum laude, PA dual degree student, and she's, gonna, she's currently at the Hofstra University's Physician's Assistant Program. Neeralee Rana, magna cum laude, Honors College Associate, Phi Delta Epsilon, and she's going to the Rowan School of Osteopathic Medicine. <laughs> Shaza Ali, cum laude, Phi Sigma Tau, and she, her graduate school is the Hofstra University Northwell School of Nursing and Physician Assistant Studies. <laughs> Fatima Kwaja, cum laude, going on to the Hofstra Northwell School of Nursing and Physician's Assistant Studies. <laughs> Andrew Collardney, cum laude, also going to the Hofstra University Northwell School of Nursing and Physician Assistant Studies. <laughs> Grace Gian Natsis, cum laude, president of Hofstra Women's Club Lacrosse and the Athletic Director Scholar. Andrew Cardell, magna cum laude. He's going on to, for his MS in Physician Assistant Studies. <laughs> Caroline Serwanka, magna cum laude. Um, athletic Director Scholar, Phi Beta Kappa, and is going on for her Master's at science, of Science. Zoel Weber, magna cum laude, treasurer of the American Medical Women's Association, member of the Order of Omega, and is going on for her master's in the Physician Assistant Studies program at Hofstra. <laughs> Julie O'Neill, cum laude, vice president of the chapter development on the Panhelica 
Council, National Honor Society for Dance Arts, Order of Omega, and her employers, the New York City Department of Education. <laughs> Kerry Conti, summer come loud, Vice President of Women's Cup Lacrosse, and is going on for her Masters of Education here at Hofstra. <laughs> Hannah Perez, come loud. <laughs> Melissa Restropo, come loud, President of the Pre-Dental Student Association, and is going on to, for her Masters of Health Administration at Hofstra. <laughs> Caitlin Lydon, summer come loud, going on for her graduate work in biology. <laughs> Kirsten Sekora, magna cum loud, Ada Sigma Gamma National Health Honor Society member, president of Alpha Phi, and she's going on for graduate school here at Hofstra for her Master of Science in Occupational Therapy. Kiera Hallam, come loud, Vice President of Finance for Alpha Phi and member of the Dean's Business Scholars. <laughs> Victoria Gelado, come loud, Vice President of Membership Recruitment for Alpha Phi, Vice President of Recruitment of the Order of Omega, member of Kappa Delta Phi, and her employer is Alpha Phi International. Jennifer Chen, cum laude, Bus Dean's Business Scholar, Graduate School, Hofstra University Accounting. <laughs> Jillian Zupito, magna cum laude, Phi Beta Kappa, Director of Philanthropy, Alpha Phi. <laughs> Emma Forsyth, cum laude, member of the Alpha Phi Theta Mu Chapter, Graduate School, Anesthesiology Assistant Program, University of Vermont Medical Center Employer. <laughs> Tess LaConley, cum laude, Phi Beta Kappa and Psych Chi. Graduate School, PhD in Psychology. <laughs> Christine Gonzalez, cum laude, Alpha Phi a Kappa Psi. <laughs> Connie Situ, cum laude, Graduate School, Hostra Physician Assistant Program. <laughs> Victoria Gaylor, magma cum laude, Management High Honors, Employer, Stony Brook Hospital. <laughs> Aaliyah Wood, cum laude, Eta Sigma Gamma Honor Society. <laughs> Deanna Taylor, cum laude, Employer, Sarah Scoop. Zoe Sippenberg, cum laude. Nicole Reinstein, cum laude. Nicholas Lagrega, magma cum laude. Phi Eta Sigma IEE Eta Kappa Nu Honor Societies. Danielle Popowski, summa cum laude. Beta Gamma Sigma Delta Alpha Pi and she's planning to get a PhD in graduate school. She's working for Hinkle AG and Company. Daniil Marischensky, cum laude. Graduate school, University of Chicago, Masters of Science in Analytics, employer, Northwell Health, Feinstein Institute of Medical Research. Sean Falega, magna cum laude, employer Sin Pulse. <laughs> Caitlin Giacconi, cum laude, Marquise Colston Fellowship, Delta Alpha Pi, Phi Eta Sigma Honor Society's Graduate School, Stony Brook University, Doctorate in Physical Therapy, employer Northwell Health, Stars Rehabilitation. <laughs> Sarah Porcellini, cum laude, employer Morgan Stanley. Victoria Caridi, cum laude, graduate school, Toro School of Health Sciences, DPT, employer South, Soundside Physical Therapy. Abby Briggs, summa cum laude, graduate school, New York University, MPA, MPH. Alexander Viles, magma cum laude, Marque 
Colton Fellowship member, a graduate school NYIT occupational therapy doctoral program. <laughs> Victoria Bharat, summa cum laude, Hofstra University for graduate school pursuing MS in sports science. <laughs> Grace Lambright, cum laude, graduate school MGH Institute of Health Professions, DPT. Emma Hartshorn, cum laude, Colson Fellowship in Health 2021-2022, and graduate school will be Sacred Heart University, DPT. <laughs> Allison Torf, magna cum laude. Her employer is Locust Valley Dental Group. <laughs> Linda Zimmerer, summa cum laude, Business Scholar, Beta Gamma Sigma Phi Eta Sigma. <laughs> Rebecca Murphy, Departmental Honors, Graduate School MA at Hofstra. <laughs> Andrea Hernandez, Magma Cum Laude, Sigma Tau Delta, and Departmental Honors. Aaron Browning, cum laude, Pi Sigma Alpha, and member of the Rabinowitz Honors College. <laughs> Amani Henderson, cum laude, Pi Eta Sigma, Eta Sigma Gamma, Graduate School Physician Assistant Program, Employer Metro Physical and Aquatic Therapy. <laughs> Laura Sanchez, summa cum laude, Graduate School PhD in Biochemical Chem Biological Chemistry at John Hopkins University. <laughs> Madisa Whaley, cum laude, Phi Beta Kappa, Graduate School Masters in Law and Economics. <laughs> Catherine Cockrovorf, magna cum laude, Graduate School at the Zucker School of Medicine at Hofstra University. Christopher Schumann, summa cum laude, member of Sigma Pi Sigma, Hofstra University Honors College graduate with distinction. Um, his physics thesis, he got highest honors, and University of California at Santa Barbara for a PhD in physics. I'm sorry? Jerson Orozco, summa cum laude. Ali Miller, cum laude, vice president of Phi Sigma Sigma, order of Omega Honor Society, and going on to Hofstra's Physician's Assistant School. Sarah Schoenman, cum laude, Phi Sigma Sigma, 2020-2021 Archon. Rachel Pulwitz, summa cum laude, Provost Liz, Kappa Delta Phi Education Honor Society, Phi, Phi Eta Sigma, and going on to Hofstra University, Masters of Special Ed, and works at the Rosman School District. <laughs> Samantha Sivert, summa cum laude, Sigma Delta Phi Honorary Hispanic Society, Vice President of Hofstra Society of Professional Journalists, Director of News Reporting for WRHU, and her employer is Foxweather. <laughs> Thomas McDonald, magna cum laude, Vice President of Moda Fashion Club, member of Phi Eta Sigma Honor Society, member of Mu Kappa Geography Honor Society, and employer J.P. Morgan Chase. <laughs> Andrew Fernie, cum laude, Phi Eta Sigma, and Hofstra University's Dean's List. <laughs> Gabrielle Vanny Phillips, summa cum laude, Phi Eta Sigma Honor Society. <laughs> Yanni, Trian, uh, Trian Filu, Cum Laude, Tether Tau, Biomedical Engineering Society, and going on for a master's degree in mechanical engineering at Manhattan College. <laughs> Katie Tierney, Summa Cum Laude, inducted into Phi Beta Kappa, recipient of the OL of the Year Award, employer Efren Films. Lillian Liu, cum laude, 
going on to the Hofstra University Physician's Assistant Program. <laughs> Alison Kudla, magna cum laude, um, honors thesis, movement to live more deliberate, uh, obtained a dance department honors every semester, and Hofstra's most outstanding junior award. <laughs> Julia Sylvain, summa cum laude, president of Movo Hofstra's Dance Department, Secretary of Hofstra PRSSA, um, going on to graduate school in Paris, France with, for a master's in communication. <laughs> Josette? Josette Vale, cum laude, recipient of the Residential Student of the Year Award, member of the National Honor Society for Dance Arts, President of the Resident Hall Association and going on to the University of Roehampton in London for a Master's of Fine Arts. <laughs> Gabrielle Loblu, cum laude, President of Teaching Dances Art. <laughs> Hallie Dono, magna cum laude, member of the Rabinowitz Honors College, Pi Mu Epsilon Math Honor Society member, um, offered a PRISM Opportunity Fellowship at NYU for postgraduate studies. Um, so it's going on for a Master's in Applied Statistics at NYU. <laughs> Kevin Kulina, magna cum laude, Vice President of the Hofstra American Marketing Association, Dean's Business Scholar, um, member of the International Business Honor Society, going on for a Master's in Marketing at Hofstra University, and employer is PS Digital. Perry Allen, magna cum laude, Hofstra University Honors College. <laughs> Antonio Mendez, cum laude, Philosophy Honor Society Phi Sigma Tau, English Honor Society Sigma Tau Delta, and going on for a master's at the University of Miami. <laughs> Janine Kaywood, cum laude, and works at the De Nassau County Department of Health. John Cook, magna cum laude, uh, works at Bloomberg. <laughs> Max, Max Nelkins, cum laude, Honors College Associate. <laughs> Kyle Gable, magna cum laude, and member of Delta Alpha Phi. Hannah DeMarco, cum laude, Kappa Delta Pi, Phi Eta Sigma, and Graduate School, Hofstra University School of Education, Special Education 1 through 6. <laughs> Elise Pratt, cum laude, Epsilon Pi Epsilon, IEEE, -E -E, and she is a uh, softball scholar. <laughs> Jillian Chirico, summa cum laude, Beta Sig Alpha Psi, Accounting Honor Society, um, Secretary of the Accounting Society, Beta Gamma Sigma, Business Honor Society, Graduate School MS in Accounting at Hofstra University. <laughs> Rebecca Williams, cum laude. Employer is 1010 wins. <laughs> Caitlin Egan, summa cum laude. Gracie Award recipient for the Alliance for Women in Media and the Ed Ingalls Broadcaster of the Year Award. <laughs> Juliana Iovino, cum laude. Phi Eta Sigma, Graduate School, University of Hoster, Hoster University, Master's in Public Relations. <laughs> Serena Lee, magna cum laude. Phi Eta Sigma, Honor Society, Graduate School, Physician Assistant Studies. Tatiana Sikandri, cum laude, graduate school, Hostra Medical School, nurse, School of Nursing and PA Studies. <laughs> Jacqueline Cater, summa cum laude, graduate school, master's degree in public relations at Hostra University. <laughs> Valerie Garcia, magna cum laude, Ada Sigma Gamma, Phi Sigma Sigma, and she's, the employer is professional physical therapy. 
Victoria Karuba, cum laude, member of Sigma Tau Delta Honor Society. Faith Shank, summa cum laude, Phi Alpha Delta Political Science Honor Society. Randy Marengo, cum laude, Psi Chi Honor Society. Lorelei Givens, magna cum laude, Eta Sigma Gamma Honor Society. Jarif Khan, cum laude, Mu Kappa International Geography Society, Phi Alpha Delta Society of Scholars, Graduate School, St. John's School of Law. Arsalan Jamal, cum laude, 2020 Rising Star Award recipient. Michael Roller, cum laude, Graduate School Hostel Law in the fall. Matthias Bien, magna cum laude, Sigma Delta Pi Spanish Honor Society. Ian Colville, cum laude, Sigma Tau Delta, Delta Alpha Pi, Graduate School, Hofstra University, Forensic Linguistics, Employer Center of Academic Excellence. <laughs> Layla Neighbors, cum laude. Thank you. Sky Boomer, cum laude. Deans and Provost Liz Honors, Honors College. Marianne Perino, magna cum laude, part of the HEAT Network, Deans and Provost Honors, and her employer is News 12 Long Island. Jackson Mermina, cum laude. He is an RSA Enterprise per, at the Enterprise Hall and package producer at Thursday Night Live. Matthew Mayer, summa cum laude. Phi Eta Sigma, Graduate School, New York University, MA in Moving Image Archiving and Preservation, Employer, YZ Productions. <laughs> Cosette Shields, summa cum laude. <laughs> Julia Nager, cum laude. Graduate School, Hofstra University, PA Program. Olivia Espinoza, cum laude, Hofstra University Physician's Assistant Program. Yeah. Isabel Hepp, magna cum laude, Hofstra's PA Program. Yeah. Isabella Masuki, magna cum laude. Yeah. Madison Storms, magna cum laude, Phi Eta Sigma, President of Beta 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 Biological Honor Society and plans to pursue either an MD or DO. <laughs> Come loud, Alpha Phi Omega, Tri Beta Biological Honor Society, and going on um, for a master's at Stony Brook in ecology and evolution. <laughs> Mason Fendler, Come loud, National. NSS LHA Audiology Student State Officer for New York State, past president of Alpha Phi Omega National Service Fraternity, past vice president of the Hofstra University Professional Fraternity Council, and going on for an audiology degree at Long Island Consortium, and works at the Department of Public Safety here at Hofstra. <laughs> Jacqueline Blaine, magna cum laude, Phi Beta Kappa, um, Carol D. Ferrand Award for Undergraduate Excellence in Speech Science, um, going on for a Master's in Speech Language Pathology at Queens College. <laughs> Caitlin Boncaro, summa cum laude, employer carrier. <laughs> Adam Flash, summa cum laude, Phi Alpha Theta, theta Inducti, Phi Eta Sigma Inducti. <laughs> Anne Marie Lapard, magna cum laude, President of Society of Professional Journalists, fourth place in the Hearst Awards Multimedia Three Competition, and French Honor Society. <laughs> Leah Chiappino, uh, magna cum laude, Depu deputy editor and founding member of the Hofstra Clock Tower, and an intern at WSHU Public Ra 
Radio and the Nat Rachel Mador Show. <laughs> Margaret Williams, come loud, and going on to um, Mar the Marquette Law School. <laughs> Vicki Zhu, come loud, Tri Beta Honor Society, American Medical Women's Association Treasurer, Project Sunshine Treasurer, and Employer is Render. Francesca Filiberti, cum laude, IEEE Eta Kappa Nu Engineering Honor Society, Phi Eta Sigma Honor Society, Gamma Kappa Alpha Italian Honor Society. <laughs> Brian Hirsch, summer cum laude, Dean's Fellowship for the Tuff University Biomedical Engineering, IEEE Eta Kappa Nu Honor Society, Phi Eta Sigma Honor Society, and going on for a PhD at Tufts University. Thomas Voital, come loud, RIT scholarship for a master's program, uh, going on for a master's in computer engineering at the Rochester Institute of Technology. <laughs> Frank Martin III, summer come loud, uh, Upsilon Pi, Pi Epsilon Honor Society for Computer Science, member of the Rabinowitz Honors College, and employer's MSc Industrial Supply Company. Darry Felix, come loud, member of NOAA, um, going on for a master's at Florida State University for Higher Education and works at the Center for Academic Retention and Enhancement. <laughs> Annalisa Pena, come loud, president of the Hispanic Public Relations Student Association, past president of Leaders for Environmental Action and Fellowship, and employs St. Sayer Art Studio. Nicole Logan, magna cum laude, Eta Sigma Gamma National Education, he, National Health Education Honor Society, and her double minor nutrition and psychology. <laughs> Jaquela Brown, magna cum laude, Colonial David Wysick, Esquire Pride Leadership Academy, Pi Sigma Alpha, Phi Sigma Tau, and going on for a master's uh, in government and politics at St. John's University. <laughs> Jenna McDonald, Phi Eta Sigma, and Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Kayla Grace, Summer, Summer Cum Laude, president and founder of Future Educators at Hofstra, Phi Sigma Alpha, peer teacher within the Department of Education. Amanda Reese, summer cum laude, Sigma Tau Delta, and going on at Hofstra for the Masters of Literacy program. <laughs> Brittany Grebia, cum laude, member of Future Educators at Hofstra, Sigma Tau Delta, and works at the Three Village Central School District. <laughs> Melina Fortriardis, magna cum laude, Kappa Delta Pi, and Vice President of Future Educators at Hofstra. <laughs> Ariana Fisher, cum laude, um, recognized as Video Television Production Senior of the Year, and producer of the Heat Network's Sports Beat. Savantis Wilson, cum laude, member of Hostra's Organization of Latin Americans. <laughs> Taylor Riller, magma cum laude. Harvey Brody Memorial Scholarship, the Deanna Hunter Legacy Award, Xi Gamma Ca Chapter of the Delta Sigma Theta. Uh, her employer is Tegna, CBS affiliate. <laughs> Nicole Goris, summa cum laude. Phi Eta, Eta Sigma, Eta Sigma Gamma, and she plans to pursue an MD, PhD. Her employer is Northwell Health Feinstein Institute for Medical Research. <laughs> Katarina Felis, cum laude, graduate school DDS, employer Port Washington Dental Care. <laughs> Amy Zoitas, cum laude, 
plans to pursue an MA in speech language hearing science. <laughs> Emma Hennings, cum laude, recipient of the Kolb Film Grant and employer is freelance cinematography. <laughs> Jillian Santos, cum laude, vice president of the development of Delta Phi Epsilon. Her employer is Farron Com. Zanita Zofia Mawak, cum laude, Delta Phi Epsilon, and her employer is Phillips. <laughs> Isabella Weatherington, summa cum laude, merit scholar to attend Georgetown Law, JD. <laughs> Amanda Fassbender, magna cum laude, graduate school, Stony Brook University, DPT. Devin Kern, cum laude. Her employer is Integral Ad Science. <laughs> Hannah Hallam, summa cum laude. Her graduate school studies will be Hostel University in Speech Pathology. <laughs> Janice Peter, summa cum laude. Sigma Pi Honor Society, graduate school MA, Speech Language Hearing Sciences at Hostel University. Taylor Bristol, cum laude, NOAA scholar, Eta Sigma Gamma, Phi Eta Sigma National Honor Society, her employer, Center for Excellence in Youth Education at the ICON at Marai, Mount Sinai. <laughs> Matthew LeBlanc, summa cum laude, Beta Alpha Psi, Hostra's Accounting Society, Graduate School, Hofstra University, MS in Taxation, Employer, Price Waterhouse Coopers. <laughs> Amanda Shore, summa cum laude, Tri Beta Honor Society, Organic Chemistry Peer Teacher, Graduate School, Zucker Hofstra School of Medicine. <laughs> Sneda Dolatani, Cum laude, beta, 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 phi, eta, sigma, graduate school, Maryland. She will be uh, studying, she's presently employed at the Northwell Health. <laughs> Zoya Ramzan, magna cum laude, beta, 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 National Biological Honor Society, employer D1 Brands Incorporated. <laughs> Amin Umar, cum laude. Beta, 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 Alpha Lambda Chapter of the Tri Beta Honor Society. Graduate School, Medical School. <laughs> Alyssa Salvatello, Magma Cum Laude. <laughs> Rashika Kendry, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Preti Singh. Summa Cum Laude, Sigma Pi Honor Society, Graduate School, Master's Degree at Hofstra University, Speech Pathology. <laughs> Julia Conniff, Summa Cum Laude, Sigma Pi Honor Society, Graduate School, MS, MA at Hofstra, Speech Language Pathology. <laughs> Sophia Grupuso, Summa Cum Laude, Graduate School, Hofstra University Speech Language Pathology Program. Mm -hmm. Sophia Webster, summa cum laude. Graduate School, Hofstra University Physician Assistant Program. Mm -hmm. Teresa de Blasi, summa cum laude, Sigma Pi Honor Society. Graduate School, MA in Hofstra Speech Language Pathology. Gianna Cohen, summa cum laude, employer, Tektronic Industries. <laughs> Amy Oliver, cum laude, Alpha Kappa Delta, International Sociology Honor Society, and graduate of distinction with the Rabinowitz Honors College. <laughs> Manisha Saini, magna cum laude, Masters in Business at Hofstra, works for Department of Homeland Security at, Hof at JFK Airport. 
Shara Mista Sat Sama Magna Cum Laude, major in business economics and going on to at the Hofstra University Liberal Arts. Well, with all of this great applause comes our congratulations and very best wishes. Congratulations again to our recipients of departmental honors, Latin honors, and special achievement awards. We are enormously proud of you, and we look forward to seeing all of you at the commencement ceremonies. This concludes our program. We hope to see you at the Senior Class Toast, which takes place at 6 p.m. this evening in the student-centered dining room. I ask you to remain in place until the academic procession has left the stage. And once again, congratulations, Class of 2022.